I like it. <laughs> I don't believe you. Are you holding a spoon? Yeah. I'm like, what? Why does it sound like there's a spoon in there? I think it's good to a clean spoon. It's the drop your spoon in the bathroom. <laughs> Do an updo. An updo. There you go. What do you mean no? You just said you just asked the ghost to go to so many places and now you get a chance to go. Let's go. Look at them out there enjoying the brisk morning. It's like 38 this morning. In the mood to help you, dude. You ain't never had a friend like me. You ready to have an awesome day? Yeah, good. Good to hear it. You make your mom do all the things for you? Come on. Do you feel like you just got home? You're like, okay, I'm going again. You you love to go though, remember? True. Like, I'm the go girl. True. The go girl. You don't have to put it all on because you're just going to take it back off. To, thank you. To get your shoes on. Try to save, ladies. Okay. See you in a little bit. Hopefully we don't have the issue we had last time. The last therapy session was when we sat in traffic. Oh my God. For yeah. Hours. For two hours. Yeah. Hopefully that goes okay. okay. It's like a 20 minute drive and sat for two hours. Girl, go put your shoes on. Today she has vocational and speech therapy on the same day, which is good. You know, it's like her day of going and doing a lot of things. It's only one day a week where she had doubles up like that. I do feel like we just got home though. Like I just dropped her off, came home, left again, go get her, came back, and then she leaves again. She was home for just enough time to shred her newest publication that came in the mail, so we to get a good shred session in. I have not eaten all day and I'm hungry. Do you want french fries? Do you want fries? Are you, are you saying anything? Do you want french fries? Yes, okay. Do you want chicken nuggets? That's it, you want both? You want a whole, you want a meal? Do you want a meal? Yeah. You're very chill today. We didn't even listen to music on the way home. Are you feeling okay? It's like good enough to steal your water, Dad. Hey. Can you get out of the car? I want to eat some waffle fries and Chick-fil-A sauce. Can you... Can you exit the vehicle? Please? Put your shoes on. Come on. There we go. Now we're making forward progress. Gotta work on your golf cart today. That's what I started doing earlier. Gotta fix it, it's broken. I don't know what's wrong with it or else I would tell you. Cause then it would be fixed if I knew. You know, that's how that works. Um, I, don't, I don't know. We'll figure it out though. And you're probably like, how complicated could a golf cart possibly be? Let me show you. See all these components in here? Your controller, your solenoid, that big old wiring cluster. You got another, it looks like a regulator back there. Excuse me. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of parts and pieces that need to be diagnosed. We're not getting, not getting power back there. So I really hope it's like a, a rodent, like ate a wire. That would just make my life so easy. Let's do some wiring repair. Whip out the soldering gun, get that fixed up. Bob's your uncle, you know? Although rodents eating wires isn't very common in this area, like it's not, it's not as, oh, good job, thanks for helping. It's not really a challenge that we face. Uh, you wanna hear something crazy? So Priscilla kind of grew up in, well, South Carolina and Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, right? Her parents were civil service, so they were stationed in Guantanamo Bay. And they have banana rats in Guantanamo Bay. Now, if you don't know what a banana rat is, this is a banana rat. And they tend to, uh, they'll eat wiring and hoses and all kinds of stuff. So they would have to put, and they're big, they're, they're big. They're like, like really big possums is what they remind me of as far as size wise. But, um, they would eat the wiring so bad that they would have to put chicken wire 
underneath their cars to cover the whole under underside of their vehicles to keep the banana rats out of their vehicles. Isn't that crazy? And they're all over. Banana rats and iguanas. I don't think either one of them are indigenous in the area. You know, they're kind of an invasive species. They kind of like took over, but it's wild. Thanks a lot, Adam and Eve. Laundry. Bible joke. Pew, pew. So I'm looking at a truck right now. Um, purchasing a truck. I mean, a lot of this stuff is yours. You can come help, you know. You know, Isaiah had his accident recently, and uh, we're talking to him, you know, and he's talking about, you know, he wants to buy his own truck, his own vehicle, probably a truck. He likes trucks. And, like, yeah, you know, support that 100%. He's not ready to, yet, though. It's going to take him a few months to do that. So I was like, well, in the interim, you know, Priscilla and I have been talking, and I told her I wanted my truck back. I wanted to purchase a truck. I'm ready to go camping again. Uh, it made sense to sell it at the time. It was like a year or so ago. Um, used car prices were outrageous, so they were given big money for used vehicles. So I sold it to the dealership and uh, got a lot of money for it. So it made sense at the time. Things have calmed down a bit, and they will continue to calm down. But, uh, you know, we were talking about it, and we didn't want to buy him some little beater or have him have to go into, like, significant debt where he's at right now. He's still building his his clientele, you know, with with his job and working on his videos and stuff like that. So kind of planned it out to where he can purchase his own vehicle um, in a couple of months. And in the meantime, he'll drive the Jeep. I don't want to sell the Jeep. I don't want to get rid of it. I really like it. Uh, but of course, it's not going to pull a camper. Uh, Priscilla's car will barely pull a camper, and I'm not really comfortable pulling it with her car, to be quite honest. I thought about that. But that was kind of a little bit of a plan, but we didn't have any camera trips planned anyway. Now we're ready to go again. Really want to go again. So it's not a new truck, but it's new to me. I'm excited. You know, I'm excited, that, excited to have a truck bed again. I like a nice functional vehicle. Love the Jeep. Don't get me wrong. If I want to pick something up or work on something or tow something, you know. Jeeps have the towing capacity of like a Tonka truck. So I don't even think a Jeep could tow another Jeep. Like it's just... It's, <laughs> They're weak. Cannot wait to go camp again. I, I've been I've been wanting to go for a little bit. Hasn't been a priority. Looking forward to do it again. I do want to do um, a vehicle camping trip. Take the Jeep and uh, go with my dad and Isaiah back almost 10 years ago now. Yeah, Isaiah was just barely 13, I think. We did a camping trip, my dad, him and I, and we took kayaks. Um, we went to Jitty Springs here in Florida. And we took kayaks and we kayaked Jenny Springs and camped out in tents and stuff like that. But I think that'd be rad. I want to do that again. I have great, great memories from that. Abby, you're going to help me put this stuff away, okay? I could have you help me fold, but to be quite honest, you're not fast enough. Your little cute little t-shirt folder. Just got one of those, like, flip the ends to fold the t-shirts type of deal. But they do pants too, but yeah. Come here, kid. You going to come help me? Yeah, I think you are. Well, let me get this load done. Girl, you better stay out of these bags. She's trying to look and see what her presents were, Mom. Yeah, hide everything. Y'all want to see what she got? Can I show them? Yeah. Can I show them? Hold on. So cute. So it's a it's a mold for making for making dog for making oh, sorry, for making dog biscuits, right? That's so cool. I'm gonna put the bags under here and then put the boxes in front of it. Okay. Yeah, she was making those at school, so. Thought that'd be cute. Priscilla thought that'd be cute. Mom went Christmas shopping today, Abigail. Priscilla always goes, tries to go one, at least once with her mama. Mom said, we gotta go again. Before the holidays are here. I'm like, yes, we do. I'm not getting anything for Christmas. I'm just just a truck. Priscilla said that was my, my, my whole okay. Christmas. Nope. It was, was already purchased. It was unexpected, so you know it wasn't something we really planned on. Not right now, but so. But you did say Merry Christmas. I mean, it's part. It's a big part of it. Big part. Everything's a Christmas present. Yeah, let's do this time of year. I saw this meme where it was like. When your kid's like, hey, mom, I'm out of toothpaste, you'll be like, okay, but listen, it's going to be in your stocking, or <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be part of your Christmas is always the go-to line. Nowadays, groceries should be part of the... You and this heat are going to... I don't have... It's a 68, darling. No, but it's heat. 
It's heat though. But it's not on. It's the house is 71 inside. <sighs> so the heat's not on. It's not on at all. Like you want me to turn the air conditioning on? Yeah. It's 65 degrees out and you want me to turn the air conditioning on. Yeah. Hey, the whole reason you clicked on this video, finally talking about that, you know, life, we have life. We also have ants, we have sugar ants right now. These stupid oh little gosh. tiny, I know. I don't know what they found. I don't know if it was something in, in her lunchbox or, or what, like a scrap of food or something, but they're the worst. They drive me crazy. Priscilla hates them. I'm gonna go outside. They come in around this window. So I'm gonna go outside and spray all around that and the ground and everything out, outside there. Stop them at the source. All right, check this out. I put the microphone on since you'll be making noise. So if you want to say something, just let me know. So I wanted to show you guys this. So Priscilla and I were talking the other day. This was at therapy, right? At speech therapy? Yeah. Okay. So at speech therapy, Abigail asked for a minute, like give me a minute type of thing. So what she's been doing is she's been going to this photo library of random photos that people have taken. You're fine. You can go ahead. Okay. I, that's why I said I was mic'd up so they could, they could hear me. And she's tapping on the picture of herself saying one minute instead of using the um, instead of using the app where that picture is being used, right? You've been using that to say one minute, right? But it's in her app right here under opinions. It's like, yes, no, leave me alone, come with me. Like, it's not really opinions, you know, it's more like personal commands and desires. I don't know. But it's under right, right here as well. I need a minute. Right? So they've been working on getting Abigail to use that more often so that we're going to transfer that over to home as well and uh, get her to use I need a minute um, instead of... I need a minute. Right. You do need a minute, huh? Yeah. But there's a couple other things in this. Hold on a sec. Can you, can you take your minute right here for a minute? <laughs> Thanks. There's a couple other things that we want to work on um, extensively to get her to use because she will pull us with her. You guys have seen that. Wait, hey, come here. Stay right here. I want you to learn this, okay? It's learning time. Um, she'll pull us to go with her, which is cute and whatever. I need a minute. In a, uh, I need a minute. So that's a good job, good use of, of the button. It is a very good job. Can I, one minute right here. Thank you. So come with me instead of pulling. So she has that one on here. Come with me. And we want her to use that more often. And also it's gonna promote, you know, she uses sign and body language and gestures and stuff a lot. And she uses her iPad a lot, but uh, we do wanna influence her to use her iPad more and more, just all the time. And then, if she doesn't like something, whether it be a food item or an activity. I do not like it. And and this stuff has been in here, um, in this section. I mean, the, all of this stuff is built into it, but it's been categorized. I know, it is not what you want to do, but it's been categorized in her app um, for a while, but she hasn't used it very much. So we want to promote more of that. I like it. <laughs> I don't believe you. Okay, here we go. All right, come here with me, Ab. Abby. Come with me. Come here. Good job. Do you want me to go sit with you? Yes. Good job. So you would say? Come with me. Okay, I'll come with you. What do you want to talk about? The dailies. Dailies? <laughs> We're not going to dailies. Good job. I'd love to sit with you. What did you already have? Bacon and eggs. Ready? Hey, where did we go? Let's go to lunch. We did go to lunch, but where did we go? Ride. No, look, where did we go? Chick-fil-A. That's, that's right, we went to Chick-fil-A and we had waffle fries. Come here, come here, come tell mom about it. Come here. You went to Chick-fil-A and had waffle fries? Chicken nuggets. And you chicken did? nuggets. <laughs> I, didn't, wow. I didn't prompt that one at all. Come here real quick. Come here. Mmm. 
I like it. Mm. She likes it, Mom. You do? You like Chick-fil-A, huh? Hey, Abigail, can you, can you come here a minute? Go to Dad. Come here. Abby, sit down. Thank you. Okay. Good job. I need a minute. I, I like it. You need a minute? I need a minute. I like it. Bacon cliff bar. You like cliff bars? Yeah. We had lunch. We're going to have dinner later. You go with dinner later? Zach's cart ride. I am working on your cart, actually, to fix it. Chick-fil-A. Chicken nuggets. That's what we had. Wait a minute. We're not done. No, you got to come here and talk to me about it. Let's fruit. That's not how we say that we're all done. How do we say all done? I, I like it. I need a minute. You need a minute? Hold on. Then you would say, look. Listen, hands waiting for a second. Would you like me to leave you alone? You would. So say, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I will leave you alone. Go ahead. Do you want to take this with you? Here, do you want to take this? Do you want to take this? Okay. Thanks for answering. <laughs> she just unplugged your phone. What's up? We're not going for a ride. Go away. No, nobody made you coffee, ma'am. So, kind of, I guess kind of unfortunately is that we have to like work on vocabulary like that until she's really tired of working on vocabulary. And then, um, and then she'll ask us to leave her alone. So, you know, <laughs> because of what we're learning, like we want it to be a real and natural response to things. You know, like, leave me alone, that's it, I'm done, I'm tired. And then, you know, reward that but then what's going to happen is i can already tell you because she's super smart within a couple trials of that she will start with leave me alone because she knows that she gets to be done doing the thing so then it, it's important like because at that point she's learned it she knows what it means it doesn't mean you have to honor it every time like yeah i hear you that's great let's finish this first and then i'll leave you alone you know because the same thing she did with i need a minute she says i need a minute all the time now all the time she's like i'm gonna need a minute like really dude you've had 30 minutes in a row of doing nothing so if you want to shut this we have to empty it yep see you help it the dishwasher shuts faster <laughs> oh she has to go to the bathroom i'll just you know of course do you want to help with dishes well then leave the dishwasher open stop trying to close it I'm gonna stop asking her if she needs to use the restroom. I'm just gonna ask her if she wants to help with dishes. It achieves the same goal. I'm just gonna set these in there. She unplugged your phone. Yeah. So yeah, so that's how we're gonna go about that. I think it's gonna work, obviously. Ooh, obviously, it's gonna work pretty quickly. She's very quick at picking these things up. And then we're going to redirect. So when she starts to pull our hands in a direction and do and do this like she does to come, come with her, um, we'll make her use her iPad to communicate that, you know, and we'll pair the two because we don't want her to lose language in another area just to gain it on the iPad. So she'll have both methods of communicating with us, but we do want to focus more on the iPad for things like that because a lot of it has to do with being, it being appropriate. It's not appropriate to pull a stranger to come with you. You know, you might say, hey, would you mind coming with me? You're not going to grab them by their hand and pull them across your pot leg because you need more napkins, you know? <laughs> I appreciate you helping. Oh, so tired. This is a boring job, huh? We're just yawning over there. Isn't it crazy that people love watching you learn? It's not crazy? I guess not. We've been doing this for a lot of years, so you're, we're, we're all kind of used to it by now. We're not. We're not done yet. We still have to finish closing it out or emptying the dishwasher. Can you say bye, though? Say bye to everybody. You want to close it out? It's a little camera, I know.